It's No Pulp, and it's a webisode edition. Andrew Selliver, Ian Nicholas with you after week two of college football. Only two ranked matchups this week, Ian, and both of them blowouts. And that meant one team had to provide us some content to talk about here at yep. No Pulp. And that team was the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame because they showed up and did not play football against Northern Illinois after a big ranked win on the road at Texas A&M week one. The Fighting Irish, just an enormous enormous lack of performance at home especially after going on the road Andrew in week one and winning a game that a lot of people thought Texas A&M with their new coach Mike Elko would win but Marcus Freeman he silences all his doubters one week and now they're going to come back in double the next week because this team is a top five team in the country talent wise Andrew they brought in the flashy transfer quarterback from Duke and Riley Leonard. And how about we look at some of these stats for Riley Leonard? Two costly interceptions in a Northern, I Northern Illinois team that absolutely capitalized on it. Ontario Brown with over 220 yards. He was dominant in Notre Dame with just so many more questions to answer about the state of our program after this game. Yeah, a couple things. I think first, maybe some people overlook Texas A&M or overhyped them and so put too much weight on the win week one. And people probably put too much weight on the Riley Leonard performance because in my eyes, it was the defense that won that first football game, yeah, not but Riley, Riley Leonard. Leonard was getting first round hype headed into this season, sure. was getting first round NFL hype when he was healthy last year at Duke. So who cares if people are overflating his week one performance? He's supposed to win you games. This isn't traffic cone, Jake Cone. This is Riley Leonard, and he looked awful. He looked worse than Sam Yeah, Martin. and I'm with you on Marcus Freeman because you're the coach, and you have to get your team off the roller coaster from week one and get them ready to play in week two. And flat out, that Irish team was not ready to nope. play this weekend against Northern Illinois. Might have to run the gauntlet, win them all the rest of the way to get in the playoff. That does it for this edition of a No Pulp webisode.